Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Let's Play Under Rail with No Fair Fight. We're in the Institute of Tokord and we're all looking for a bug because you can see all these animals here and one is missing. And of course, it's the worst of them all. It's a psi bug. Um, not sure if it's a Goliath or a different type, but we, we, we better hide so that we have first strike. We're not allowed to kill it though. Oh, there it is. Cycle. We're not allowed to kill it. We're ordered to subdue it. However, we have no subduing capabilities um, Except for We have um, flashbangs, so maybe Maybe we can flashbang it. Is that possible? We'll see There's one thing absolutely sure I don't want this thing to be able to counter-strike me, right? Because that would be really bad. Okay, 22. If I shoot him once more, he might die. So we get away. And then we... Oh, we cannot throw anything at it. Oh, but maybe we can. Can you subdue that thing for me? Yes, he is subdued. Excellent. Good, 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 good. Now we have to be really careful. The creature seems to be knocked out for the time being. Now do you have a chance to take a closer look? You can truly admire its impressive size. However, it appears that this rough, scared caterpillar reveals more than you'd have expected. This creature is one of extreme age. How old exactly? You're unsure. Miniature landscapes adorn the beetle's back. Every scar, scratch, and defect it illustrates a separate story of its being long past. But time to study you do not have. However, the creature should regain consciousness any moment. Use the neural amplifier pacifier on the creature. You perform the procedure that you were instructed. You position the device that mark a scratch on the caterpillar's opening line of the beetle's head and press the activation button for the penutral pacifier. As soon as you do so, you hear the device activated and, after a brief delay, the faint sound of caterpillar's cracking reaches your ear. You expected some reaction from the creature, twitching or some motion of consequence, but it's probably a painful of its probably painful intrusion. But the beetle remains static. Soon everything quiets down. Hey, we done our job. We got it. Uh, but I've, oh, I've, <laughs> I've been also reminded by you people that this is not our job. Our job is to do the missions for the protectorate tree of this organization, which means uh, we should do the fighting stuff. And we will. But first, we get back here and say that we've got done it. Done it. I planted the neutral pacifier. The creature is now well pacified. I actually never had the chance to introduce myself. Figurine. Oh, yes, I understand everything. I would like to apologize for my early behavior. Magnificent talk for it. It's always just. I have a lot of work here. An incredible amount of work. And every time someone enters my office, something goes horribly away. I directly translate to more trouble. And that, therefore, I get the chance to drink my first cup of mushroom tea the day. Do you have any more work? Oh, 400. Oh, well. Any more jobs? I do. As a matter of fact, the first requires a ferry ride to pretty remote place of Lower Underrail. The second is about genetics disease project. Okay. Well, it's something I could from the top, you know, I mean, someone comes into my office and drops some stuff on my desk wherever I like it or not. I'm the Pete Western of Department talk about things that are unavoidable, I guess. Magnificent of work. Well, I got was a project of genetic disease resistance. I have to find some subjects who are greatly resilient to deadly disease. Yeah, that's what I've been told. That means I, he points himself, I, the principal investigator, have to worry about subjects when I have the pacification project on my hands. Torquist, recombination perk with the finish, Georgie's protea and design data review, and even some developed cymorphs from the deep caverns that were recently brought in. Wait a minute, these are the things we fought in the factory, a foundry. I need to use the following. Walk outside the institute, there is a bunch of people there, and ask around anyone except we have. If not, well, we did our best. Let someone else deal with it. If we find someone, even better. Since they're already there, they would be easy to convince to come here and do some simple tests. Nothing. Okay, yeah, we can do that. That is, I think, a quest easy done 
And fastly done so, I guess. Man, all these cards make me really nervous. If they start getting angry at us, we're in trouble. Because I, ca I can kill one or two of the rest of four. But I mean, this is like millions of them. Literally millions of them. And they're all well armed. This is the balcony. Oh, more people to steal from. Have I already stolen your stuff, sir? I have not. Beautiful. Your shield is okay. You're a psyker, shielded, and you have a crossbow. Oh boy, you're you're all in one, right? Well, I'll take your healing stuff. Sooner or later we'll have to fight these guys, right? And better when we fight them that they have nothing with them. At least nothing that can hurt us or heal them. Because in the end, these guys are the bad ones. At least I think they're the bad ones. I guess they're the bad ones. And we really need this ammo. Oh wait, wrong way, wrong way. We have to get outside, right? That's what I remember. How do we open that door? Is that this one? Tokor is... Yay! Okay, we need a deranged person. Someone who is capable of... Who could that? Oh, you look like one. Hello, I'm Kelron. I have some questions if you have the time. What can you tell me about yourself? I'm a simple stoner from Core City who is searching for something better in life. Heard of the drop zone? I lived there my whole life. Awful place to live in. Awful people, awful food. If you can't get your hands on some. In general, it's awful. Was there anything good about this zone for you? Family. Keanu comes to mind. But the owner enjoys talking every good things from player. Swept my whole family. With father, mother, grandfather, five sisters, two brothers. All of them older than me. Oh yes, you're the specimen. Gone. But it's easy to lose the life in the drop zone. But that plague, that was pure evil. Plague? Yes, a hardcore plague dominated half of the zone several years ago. Not all, not a lot of folks about know about the plague, because no one really cares what happens in the drop zone. But as zoners, we care. I care. My dearest are gone because of that pipe-working plague. How did you manage to survive? Luck. Must be luck, because I don't have an explanation why Dad decided to spare me. I mean, I'll never be never ill in my whole life. Ever. No colds, let alone something more serious. That's interesting. Maybe you're immune to the plague somehow. Do you ever seen a doctor? Doctor, no. I'm a sonar, remember? You don't understand it ended. You come from a different world, you. It's all just luck. Everything in life is about having luck. That's what I've learned. You can be good at something, sure, but if you're unlucky, that's that. Nothing helps. Look at my hands. I've been working like a slave my whole life, and everything I earned can easily chuck down from pipeworks. It's miserable. I was lucky enough to survive the plague, but lucky, unlucky with everything else. Someone at the Institute is interested in the fact that you survived the drops on plague. Because you're special. You survived the plague. The fact that it killed everyone in your family could be something genetics for all we know. You don't think I'm special? I don't. And if it's my genes, then why did my whole family die? Shouldn't we have all have that resisted? No, that's not how, how genetics work. You could be a mutation of your family, and that's the reason you're alive. Besides, it turns out that I'm not special. What's going to happen to me? That I don't know. You were the first in the fa with the immunity. You were the youngest of the siblings, right? Now it's not time to have second swords. Do you want to get in the Institute of Tonkort or no? Ah, uh, yes, you're right. 
But I mean, it's what will they do with me? <laughs> we don't know. Great. Beautiful. Yeah, will they experiment on him? Yes, yes, they will. Will he survive it? I don't think so. I think these guys are evil to the core. Why did they close the door? <sighs> these guys, I tell you. Okay, but we go home to the guy and tell him we've done and then we get the next quest, hopefully. And yet again, we're doing the wrong quest tree, right? Because we should be doing the rest of four quest tree and not the genetic whatever this guy does quest tree. I'm concentrating on the wrong things. Well, but it pays well, I guess, because we got a lot of experience last time, and I think we're getting a lot of experience this time, and we need the next level, do we? Uh, I just talked to a man called Tetris who survived the plague in Core City. He said he's willing to become a subject. Well, he's a sonar. I found him right in front of the Institute. His whole family died from plague, yet he survived. He also told me that he's rarely, if ever, ill in his life. Never ill. And he said his whole family died. Fair enough. I think we've gone to something. By Tokord. I think he's looking. we're looking for. If you say what's true, we'll never need another subject at all. It's an honor to serve the Institute. Yes. Do we, what, why do we only get 200? Ugh. I'm interested in what you described at the ferry trip. Um, the Forsaken Island. Never heard of it. It's a remote island situated somewhere between Core City, approximately southeast. In most southern parts of the underrail, as people say, surrounded by violent creatures, which make it for a popular place for tourism. However, there's something else there, bro. The Forsaken Behemoth. Ooh, shit. Now that sounds big. I've heard some extract, excavated stories, excavated stories about its appearance and behavior. It breathes fire, shoots lasers from its eyes. It has seven heads. Various nonsense. I mean, the creature, if real, might be some have some psionic abilities. I don't deny that. It's just that some things I've heard take it too far. However, it's consistent in all the stories that it can be summarized like this. It's a big lizard. <laughs> a very big lizard. And if it really exists, I want a piece of it. Not fight it, but rather a sample of its skin, whatever else you can find. So, I wish you to do this, basically this. Go to the island, find someone who's crazy enough to take you there, see if the creature exists, and bring me a sample of it. There is the possibility that's only this kind, so do not try to cull it. For, cull means killing it, for we might return later and capture it. Simply, bro, really simple. The pay is good. 650 Sharons. That's my opinion. It'll be a very good offer. You'll see if, once you come back from the island. Oh, yeah, we're in. Talk or guide you. Is there anything else? No, oh, he's just talking about that thing. Talk or guide you. We got 3,000 experience. That's okay. I mean, we just need 30,000 more. So we to do the, time, the quest 10 times over. We're perfect. The problem is we're not getting any more um, bonus to offensive power in the near future, if you know what I mean. We're just getting a few more skill points and one more feed, and we're basically at the maximum level of our power. I was hoping, really, really hoping hard, that we might get another shield or a better shield, but so far, no luck. So far, no luck. Um, I've been told that what we're looking for, this area that we should explore, must be around here somewhere. Okay. Well, at least it's not stealing.
They are low on supplies, right? I mean... Ooh, that's nice. 75 bonus experience. I'll take it. Okay. Nobody here. Oh, there are guards. Maybe these are the ones. Yes! Stop, brother. The area behind us is blocked off. I'm here on Medi and Samuel's orders to investigate utility stations. Take this key. I might just need it. Yeah, what I will need is your stuff, sir. You're having no shields. You're on guard duty and you have no shields? Like what are you doing? The faces are nothing compared to the preservation. He means his forces, right? That is what they are, this preservation super forces. What I worry about... <clears throat> Oh, wait, 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 wait. We got a key, right? We'll drop the key. And then pickpocket. Haha. <laughs> because we're clever lads. We're getting extra experience. This is 110 experience, and that is not little. However, I don't see anyone here. Hmm. Oh, they're dead people. Dead people. Some coin. They don't look like Rastafors, do they? They look more like normal forces to me. Lock picking. Ooh, interesting. Uh, I don't want to take that. Because if I take cards, I will not be able to... Oh, we better stealth up, right? Hacking. So I guess that this is the key card to open that. So now we can go back and get the key card, right? Because that's 95 bonus experience, which is great. Been informed I should not make that long recordings, so I think we'll stop it here. We've done two quests. It's more than enough for a day. So we'll see each other next time when we find out what is here. I think it was lunatics or something. We'll see. Until then, bye.